name is Amaranda Goye. Welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, I'm originally from Nigeria and I bring to you content based on how you can obtain your visas, immigration news, and how you can live your best life right here in Spain. In a move that makes a significant shift in the approach to immigration, Spain is set to introduce sweeping changes with the Spain Immigration Reform of 2024. This reform anticipates anticipated by expatriates and immigration experts alike aims to simplify processes, enhance migrants' rights and align with key European Union directives. So now let's dive straight into the, what the reforms are. Number one, we're going to be looking at simplifying immigration procedure. One of the main objectives of Spain immigration reform of 2024 is to streamline the immigration process. Guys, have you noticed how the immigration processes are? the complexity is local <laughs> the complexity of the current system with its plethora of permits and bureaucracy and hurdles often leads to confusion and inefficiency the reform seeks to reduce the number of permit categories making it easier for prospective immigrants to understand and navigate the system i like this one number two enhancing migrants rights a key aspect of the reform is to focus on protecting and enhancing the rights of migrants. This includes to prevent labor exploitation and improve the legal framework governing the long-term residency and family reunification. At this junction, I would like to enjoin you to please do well to click the red subscribe button down below if you are getting value from this video and the button turn on your bell notifications so that whenever i post you'll be the first to get notified like this video if you like this kind of content share this content to other people you think may need problem solving videos just like this one and keep your comments down in the comment section i'll be able to get to it or leave your questions in my details up on this video so without further ado we'll be getting on to the next reform okay the next on the list will be incorporation of european directives the reform also includes the transposition of two critical EU directives, the Single Permit Directives and the Long-Term Resident Directive. These directives aim to facilitate and combine work and resident permit process and to enhance the rights of long-term residents, residents and their families. Now, collaboration and state approach. The reform is is a collaborative effort involving various levels of government from regional authorities to social entities it reflects a comprehensive state approach acknowledging the complexities of immigration and its impact on national policy practical impact of the reform for potential immigrants the practical implications of this reform are significant by simplifying procedures and clarifying requirements the reform aims to make it easier for foreigners to legally reside and work in spain this not only benefits individual immigrants but also supports spain's economy by facilitating the integration of skilled workers it's very easy to say we are going to change we are going to bring in these laws that would guide people and would change or make things easier for the immigrants but if the mindset is not changed then nothing really makes any difference so the spanish government or the minister understood her assignment and she decided to include changing attitude in immigration offices an essential component of spain's immigration reform of 2024 is the shift in perspectives within immigration offices the reform encourages a more welcoming inclusive approach moving away from the historical restrictive and interpretation of immigrant laws so don't be rigid you have to welcome people and yeah, I think this will take a long time for people to be able to change their mindset, but this is a good step in the right direction. So we give kudos to the Spanish government, the minister um, who actually uh, made this move. This is a nice one. And I hope this would also be able to help other immigrants who are planning to come to Spain and bring their families along with them. They will know now that they can you know, take this step in the right direction. Guys, remember, I work with authorized translators and I can't, you know, Translate your documents from Spanish to English if you need this service. Do have to reach out to me up on here. And yes, this brings to the end of my video. It's a very short one, but I know that you've gained content, you've gained substance, you are better informed right now on what the Spanish government is doing to make your lives better. So thank you very much for joining me on this video. Do remember I have other interesting informative videos on my channel. So do well to binge on this content. Don't be a stranger. Thank you for joining me on this one. I'll see you on my next video. Till then, hasta luego.